Good day, hello humans, and my, it's been a while, hasn't it? Welcome. Uh, as you can see, this is Team Fortress 2, um, a game that I haven't played in a very long time, but it's, uh, it's not quite Team Fortress 2 as you might know it really, is it? I've been looking through the open public maps, the, uh, through the servers, and I was just typing stuff. I was trying to find a map that I used to play on. Can't find it. But then I noticed Hyrule popped up. And this is this is the Hyrule map. This is the Goron village in Death Mountain. I've just picked up the uh, the Goron Ruby. There we go. Couldn't remember its name, but there's the Goron Ruby, the Zora Sapphire, and the Kikiri Emerald. If I remember rightly. I never finished Ocarina of Time. That's on my to-do list. Um, but this is a more or less perfect recreation, minus NPCs, of Ocarina of Time. Playable and explorable in, not Minecraft, uh, although I'm certain there's a lovely version of this in Minecraft. Um, playable and explorable in Team Fortress 2. I'm playing as an engineer, purely because it's my one of my preferred classes, uh, next to Soldier. Plus, I decided if I'm going to go wandering off and I want to get back to, say, the Temple of Time and Hyrule uh, Castle nice and quickly, I might want to play as the NG so I can just pop down a teleporter and off and away. Now we're in the Skultula? Skultula? I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Skultula? I suppose they're supposed to be Tarantula, so Skultula makes sense, I guess. Uh, but the Skulltula House, as uh, say, dropping a uh, teleport, which will take me back to just outside the Temple of Time, which is where I've decided to set up a little camp, you know, make sure uh, Hyrule Town Centre, the, the little town square there is all looked after. Got a sentry there, just, you know, making sure that the... Uh, the perimeter of the Temple of Time is all taken care of, which means I can go off and enjoy this beautiful music! Ah, oh, is anyone else feeling it? It's, it's marvellous, isn't it? And yes, I have explored up there through the, um, through the crypts. Got lost though, so I decided to put down a teleport and take myself back to the Temple of Time. Uh, can't go, well you can go down the well but it, it's either my PC or it's a problem with the map where the water just doesn't like me uh, which is a shame it does mean that I have no way of going into the water temple which I'm actually okay with I am fine with that Although with this grappling hook, it might be pretty easy. Especially since, you know, we can run and jump and do all of that. Uh, there we go, you can't teleport while carrying enemy intelligence. That's what the, um, the, the stones are treated as. They're treated as intelligence briefcases from TF2, because this is TF2. Uh, so they have to be some sort of carryable item. Carryable and droppable. Because you're picking them up from a place and then you're taking them to another place, which is the Altar of Time. I've already got the Kikiri Emerald, that's already there. Picked that up from just outside the uh, the Great Deku Tree. Uh, Deku Tree wasn't open. But, you know, you could walk around Kikiri Forest, I've been through the Lost Woods, yes, all the music is there as well, and yes, it is a damn good recreation, it's fucking perfect. And there's little details that I never noticed before. Having said that, this thing on the left, there's a, another player. But this thing here, that wasn't in the original game, was it? I don't remember it being anyway. Uh, while we're there though, the um, the Triforce symbol, that acts as a teleporter, sort of like it does in Ocarina of Time. Um, in 
OOT, you play play the Ocarina and you know, say you played I don't know Bolero of Fire, it would teleport you to Death Mountain Crater. If you played the Song of Time, it would uh, give you the option to teleport back to the Temple of Time, if I'm remembering rightly. Um, kind of similar here, if you stand on one of those Triforce symbols, it'll teleport you to the Sage Chamber thing, and then you can select one of their seals by standing near it, and it'll teleport you to its corresponding area, be it the, the desert or the, um, the, the, the lake. Uh, Kikiri, uh, not Kikiri, Forest, uh, The Lost Woods. It's it's marvellous, it truly is marvellous. And I thought, may as well break my guitar since I'm here at the ranch. Well look, you can go inside the buildings and again, it's it's freaking perfect. This is magical, this is not what I was expecting to find at stupid o'clock in the morning while uh, playing TF2. Just finished doing an MVM match. Uh, as heavy weapons guy. That was terrible accent I will not do ever again. Well, can I make this promise, but what is promise? Um, pots, they're breakable as well, so you can pick up rupees, that'll give you ammo. Um, I believe that was long long milk, which replenished a bit of my health, which is good because I'm a little bit clumsy with the grappling hook and I seem to break my legs a lot, which is not so fun. But hey, as long as you've got milk, your bones are going to be fine, apparently. Uh, so let's get out of the ranch. There's no horses here. There's only me and that other person on here. But look at that. You can see Death Mountain. You can see over to where the Kikiri Forest would be. Behind us would be like Helia. Hylia. Hylia. I'm also quite glad that those giant plant things with the spinny root blades, whatever the hell they were, that gave me nightmares, are not in this. I mean, Enchi could probably handle himself quite nicely and take care of it, but I, I... That and the owl. I know the owl's supposed to be a nice, friendly, helpful NPC, but... It was the size of the thing? And the eyes, the massive eyes and eyebrows just made that owl feckin' terrifying. And I didn't play it as a kid, I first got Ocarina of Time when I was in like my mid-teens. We, we never bought it at launch, so I got it maybe half a decade, a decade or so after it originally came out. I don't know when I got it. May have been a decade after the thing came out. I don't know. Don't doesn't matter. But here we are in Zora's domain. Music change again. Look at this place. I am just amazed that people have you know taken the time to recreate this. Water is broken. Water does not like me. I think it is the water because it, it's it's just where the water is. It's not filling the whole screen. It's not like covering a health meter or my build statuses with you know, the purple and black. So maybe it is just the texture of the water or something like that is a bit messed up. Either that or my machine's useless. Uh, unfortunately you can't steal the fish or anything like that. But I, I think the shops do replenish your ammo and give you full health. Did that give me full health? I'm not too sure. But well, let's go uh, to get the Zora Sapphire, shall we? Up and away! Shump. I do like this. I'd love to have a grappling hook like this in real life. That would be fantastic. But there's Lord Jabu Jabu. Don't think he counts as an NPC though. He's not really moving, is he? I didn't kill the big fish. Didn't do it. Well, granted, it's rooting around in his stomach. He sort of deserves to die the amount of random 
crap he's got in there, good lord. Let's uh, go for a little plodge though, shall we? Ooh, the liquid mess that is water. And what's in here? Why, it's a fairy sound fountain fountain. Time to whack a fairy round the back of the head with a wrench. Uh, just like in Zelda, the fountain is giving me some sort of benefit. I've now received extra health from this fountain, which is pretty cool. I'm not too sure what the symbol there denotes, whether it means that you know, I've been to a fairy or maybe it could represent something else. Because it, to me it sort of looks like a dragon. But anyway, let's do the big jump and splash. And there's the entrance slash exit, the, the portal, the doorway to the lake. Which is where we are now. And there's that tree that the bloody owl stands on. Um, and that would be the way to the water temple, which we're certainly not going to. But the, uh, the lake house is there. Uh, there's no scarecrow, unfortunately. There's no sign of an ocarina either. I should check. I should have checked. I should have checked the moat. See if there's an ocarina in it. Oh man. But uh, just up here is where it all ends. The uh, the game decides to crash on me just after I get over this bit of the fence. Uh, so. Yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been interesting, and I might explore this properly in a bit more detail. There are more things coming. I am you know, going to get back to doing Skyrim and actually getting other videos done. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the future.